Right, folks, as you have seen from the title and the thumbnail of this video, uh, it's going to be, guess the amount of diesel I put in the van. Now, my Transit is a 2.2 2011 plate uh, tranny. Can you say tranny? Um, don't want anybody upset, octopods. And... Uh, yeah, I love my van. It's brilliant. I, I, I could have a van any day. You can offer me... This, the only other car that I might have is an Aston Martin. Some big fuck-off Aston Martin. Anything else doesn't interest me. I would rather have a van every, any day. Any day, every day. Just give me a van, yeah? That's all I like. That's all I really want to drive in life is my van. I love the Mini we've got, and that's it. Now, when I bought the van, uh, 2017, where I can't remember. 2017, 2018, something like that. Uh, it could have been 2019, to be fair. No, it couldn't have been 2019, because oh, it could have been. Ah, oh, fuck knows. Anyway, that's by the point. Uh, fuel and everything <coughs> was a lot cheaper. Um, when all said and done, I had a diesel because you get more miles out of the gallon and all that. That's what we were told uh, by Gordon Brown and co years ago to have a diesel because it's more in, it's kind of for the environment. Anyway, uh, as we all know now, the cost of living is an absolute fucking joke. He's part of that there. That bloke's never going to get out of his fucking car. Typical fucking discovery driver. Um and we all know now the cost of living so what i'm going to do folks is i'm going to fill my van up i've got in it let me show i'm out of gear there is 83 miles let me show you can i see can i see just one second folks uh can you see where it says 83 miles there does it help if there you can see it. 83 miles um Oh, fuck off. Turn around to me. That's it, you're there. Um, I'll turn this off because somebody will be saying, oh, you're sitting there with your engine running, you're in control of your car, and you're not uh, your seatbelt and stuff. Um, now, the the, the uh, diesel warning light normally comes on around 75, 70 miles. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm sat in the middle of Loughborough, I'm going to go and find a, diesel, a petrol station, fuel station, uh, and I'm going to video it. Uh, guess how much I'm going to put in it now there's no way whatever I put in it you lot are going to fucking write at the end of it um, whatever the, the title is but uh, yeah I'm going to see how much diesel it takes because what it is now that's what I was saying people who use a van for a living right now normally when I when I first had this van it cost me around 65 quid 70 quid to fill up right which is affordable you know it's not it's not cheap is it but when you buy a van you know that you're going to have to do it um so yeah i think when i first bought it it was around 70 quid to fill it up so and then obviously during covid when fuel went down and nobody was allowed out and everybody was being told that you can't think for yourselves and stuff um we were all, you know, the fuel went uh, down in price and you could fill it up for fucking less. And people were doing well. But now, thanks to Rushy, uh, the Chancellor who failed, who says that we're broke, but he's going to fix it. But he fucking broke it. The gormless twat. The billionaire Chancellor. A bit like Ted DiBiase, weren't he, when he were in the wrestling, the million dollar man. Now we've got a billion dollar Chancellor. Or did have. Until he got sacked. Uh... No, at least trust is no fucking better either so i don't know what that fuck is. anyway i'm gonna go and fill this van up and you guess how much it's gonna cost see you in a second right so i'm on my way to the petrol station and uh I'm going to the one on the A6 in Loughborough that's, uh, I think it's a BP garage. I never really take any fucking notice. Now, uh, it's opposite the grammar school. 
so pulling up to it now let's see the price of the diesel uh, it's a one pound 95.9 um, which I think has actually come down a little bit in price. Uh, so that's, you know, that's a bonus, isn't it? That's a fucking bonus, Rushy, you prick. You clicking dick. Right. I'm gonna go and start filling this up and I'll get you in a second. So, that's what it is on the moment. Let me just put this in there. The diesel, the diesel's going in there. And there we go, and it's, we're away. I hope you're guessing what it's going to be, folks. So what I normally do is I just fill up once, just fill the van up, and then that just lasts me as long as it needs to last. Still climbing, still climbing. So there's the 50 pound Marriott. Rushy, you're making some money out of it. Oh, Rushy ain't doing it now. It's that Zoari, isn't it? Zoe, Zoella. Chancellor Zoella. I think what shocked me the other day is that I actually went Tesco's and filled up. And you're only allowed to buy 99 pounds worth of fuel. And it stopped, and I was still on three quarter. I was only on three quarters of a tank. This is fucking painful to watch, isn't it, folks? There we have it, right, let's try and fill it up to I'll just keep going. There we have it then, folks. One hundred and forty fucking quid to fill up a transit van. Right, I'll get back to you in a minute. So you have just seen me put a hundred and forty pounds in there. Um, Twenty-three pounds thirty-four pence with that was VAT. Um, that has put in my van 508 miles. Now obviously if you drive it a little bit more liberally, uh, you don't thrash the nuts off it uh, or rev the tits off it. Um, see how I included both sexes in that comment then? Now, obviously, if you drive it a little bit more liberally, then fair enough, you'll get more out of it. Um, but <sighs> this is just a complete fucking joke. And the worst thing is, or the best thing is, you have now got fucking Trust and Sunak banging on about making it better. You've got fucking uh, Starmer on about making it better. You could wipe 30 pence off a, off a pint to uh, a pint. You could wipe 30 pence off a pint, that'd be fucking brilliant and all, you money grabbing bastards. You could wipe 30 pence a litre off a litre of fuel. And that would solve so many problems. It would help so many people. Now, like I've said, I'm fortunate. I 
uh, don't really drive my van as a living. But if you're a plumber, a bricket, a delivery driver, you are absolutely fucked. You are fucked. You are, I mean, like I said, if that's, so basically then, since when I bought this van, since I bought this van, I've got to open this window, I'm fucking red on. Since I bought this van, right, the price of fuel has doubled. To fill this up, it has doubled. Now, how the fuck is that fair when you've got a billionaire chancellor, right, making the rules? Well, he wasn't, but I keep thinking Rush is in charge. Mind you, the other one's just as bad. He's just as fucking rich. There is no sense in this at all. So, people, watching this, right, now, like, now the thing is, I don't do this for myself, but what I'm saying is, like the video and share this video, send it to your fucking useless MP, right, and say, how can doubling the price of fuel help the person in the street, the normal I don't consider myself normal. I'm a fucking idiot, right? As quite as somebody on Twitter and Facebook, uh, YouTube is having a go at me just lately, will agree with. About the only thing we do agree with. Um, but I'm an idiot. But how the normal person who has to go to work, feed the family, pay the mortgage, pay the bills, and survive, how the fuck can they do that? when they have to fill their vehicle up like this. It's doubled. You robbing bastards. You inconsiderate bastards. I'm fortunate, right? I'm fortunate. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me one bit. But people who have got a young family, it's an absolute fucking disgrace. Absolute disgrace what these politicians who do all this virtue signaling we understand your pain no you don't, you don't understand your pa our pain you don't understand our pain of uh, how we have to live or how you people out there have to live the only way they could understand our pain is they had a quick kick in the nuts right so £140 and I'm fortunate because I do this shit, right? Because I do this YouTubing, I have to be self-employed, yeah? I have to be self-employed, so I pay my tax and all that, yeah? But I can claim the VAT back. You lot can't. Mind you, what good's 20 quid? What good's 23 pound in VAT? It's absolutely fuck all, isn't it? Absolutely fuck all. And I've got to wait till next year or whenever to claim it. Absolute disgrace. Absolute fucking disgrace. And the other thing about this is, now I'm actually on a tyrant now, this hasn't got nothing to do with climate change or, and it's got fuck all to do with Putin and the war in Iraq, uh, Iraq. Uh, Ukraine. Fucking went off on Joe Biden then, didn't I? I forgot in the countries. This is all about making money. This is all about making fucking money. It's got nothing to do with the climate change. Nothing. No, I'm still waiting for the Maldives to go under. I'm still waiting for it and all this. This is all about money and squeezing what we, they can out of us, controlling us, and that's it. Fuck all to do with anything else. Absolutely nothing else to do with saving the planet sticking your fucking hand to a fucking picture <laughs> oh that was brilliant you see that in Italy the day where they stuck their hands to the painting and the <laughs> security bloke just come up and rip their hands off it and that's what needs to be done right what's going off here oh come on mate <sighs> Simon Coombs fencing and decking um to be fair he was already committed uh, so that's it folks, £140. Please leave your comments uh, below. Uh, I'll be interested to know how much uh, you have to fill up your car for, how many miles you do, how much has it gone up within the last 
don't know, two years. Has it doubled like it has for my, oh, I'm back up to, I've got 580 miles in the tank now. There's, because I'm driving more liberally uh, and sensibly, uh, it's good. Now, also, while you're asking, it, this camera, people say, oh, it's a great camera. It's a DJI. DJI or something like that. You can get them on Amazon, that place in, uh, and you can get them from that place called China, uh, where everything's made, uh, and none of us are supposed to use it, but there is no other option to use it. Uh, so that's it. Right, like I say, put your comments down below, folks. Like this video and share this video and get it to your local MP and let them know what we all really, really think about them putting the fuel up. Granted, it's come down 5p, uh, 2p, 3p, no, no, right? But let them know. Spread this video. It's not about me making money or anything like that. This is just about getting the fucking message out there to these politicians. you got Twat Hancock climbing up a mountain for charity, thinks he's doing really, really well. Everybody's going to like him and no fucker likes you, Matt, because you're still a twat. You still locked us down and you still went fucking a secretary when people couldn't get to see their fucking families. You can consider it prick. I could go on like this all fucking day. All fucking day I could sit here, right, driving around, use, oh, it's gone up to 595 now. I could use 600 mile just talking like this. Just slating everybody. They're all fucking bastards. Uh, all right, folks. Laters.